Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. Now, for a long time, America has not only been a melting pot for people from other parts of the world, but unfortunately for Detroit, we've welcomed a lot of their cars, too. But in 1970, when Japan's Subaru began importing the forerunner of this little subcompact wagon, some wags felt our national generosity was more like pity. At the time, Subarus were unusual little cars that seemed more like well-made oriental curiosities than serious transportation. And this latest model is even more and less of the same. What does this giant farm combine have in common with this 1984 Subaru Turbo Traction station wagon? Well, they're both designed for necessary duties, have the latest in technology mixed with well-known reliability. And as for looks, well, some might say their beauty is mostly in the eyes of their owners. All jokes aside, we have to add that though Subaru's top-of-the-line four-wheel drive GL10 certainly isn't the most stylish car around, at least its purposeful looks fits its all-weather, all-road driving mission to a double T. The turbo traction wagon rolls with a slightly nose-down attitude, hiding a high ground clearance of over eight inches. That's more than some pure off-road vehicles. Mud, ruts, and minor debris are dispatched with ease and without a bone-jarring ride. Surprising smoothness under the hood, too, with state-of-the-art turbocharged fuel injection being added to the archaic 1.8-liter flat four-cylinder that's been a Subaru trademark. The result is 95 horsepower, 30% greater than without the turbo. It provides maximum boost at only 1,800 RPM for excellent low-end pulling power. Another familiar feature, the underhood spare tire. It's easy to reach, but can be a bit awkward to remove. Though you can't see it too well here, the small turbo does lie under the tire tray. The traction part of our GL10's description pertains to Subaru's anytime, on-demand, four-wheel drive system combined with an effortless three-speed automatic transaxle. Maximum grip is accomplished at the push of a single button. And since you can't feel the rear differential engage, tiny lighted wheels on this diagram have to act as confirmation. But some things in our Subaru haven't changed. Seats are still flat with only adequate support. And the overall front environment is too cozy for anyone over five feet six inches tall. Leg room is the main problem here. Long journeys with bent legs can aggravate more than one long forgotten football injury. Our loaded sample has oodles of power accessories. This one will be a favorite for toll road commuters, a one-touch electric window for the driver. Less to our liking was the overdone electronic instrumentation. You get thin information compared to Subaru's old analog gauges. But we appreciate Subaru not suggesting there's rear seat room for three adults. You won't make many friends back here. But climb out and lower the seat and you have the flatbed carrying space of a small pickup. Unfortunately, Subaru's behavior on our slalom course is also like a pickup. The turbo traction wagon wasn't pleased to be here, as the softly sprung body rolled to its stops and sort of bumped its way around the curves. The back end kept wanting to go straight ahead, regardless of how the front wheels were turned. But with this year's turbo power, you can usually retain solid control through a heavy accelerator. And when you push the pedal down, power does come on without surge or jolt. A now respectable 0 to 60 time of 13.5 seconds is a full 10% faster than the non-boosted wagon we tested some two years ago. Turbo traction power glides rapidly up the RPM scale with only a muted turbine whine giving away its source. Getting past a semi is no big deal now. A fine 40 to 55 passing time of 5.3 seconds is almost three seconds faster than the previous model. Subaru brakes have also given us an unrefreshing pause in the past with a wildly unstable rear end, again like a pickup. Well, we're happy to say that this test wagon did much better. 
while premature locking of the right rear wheel did cause it to drift towards the curb, stops from 55 were otherwise straight and short with an average of only 117 feet after six tries. Pedal pressure, however, was very, very high, even with power assist. The GL10's curb-to-curb -curb turning circle is 33 feet, a lot smaller than most other front and four-wheel drive cars. And all is quiet on the open road, too. Subaru's sound level reading is 68 decibels. That's quite low. But then, so was expected mileage. The EPA told us to look for something between its rating of 24 city and 30 highway. However, over our 100-mile test loop, the lower rating of 24 was all we could manage. So despite mediocre high-speed handling and cramped seating, the addition of smooth turbo power to a simple-to-use four-will drive makes the Subaru Turbo Traction Wagon a serious automobile idiosyncrasy. And in today's high-priced world, at under 12 grand, fully loaded, it's almost a bargain. As for all those old Subaru jokes, well, there's no question that our ooh-ooh Subaru got the last laugh.